How's it going? All right, what you doing this far? I clean these up for free. For free? Yeah, when I see that they're getting real overgrown, I clean them up for free for the neighborhood and stuff. This grass grows as high as my hips. Really? And these people live in their hair. And that's a good thing y'all came around. I know the neighbors, when they get off from work today, they're going to say, hallelujah. <laughs> He's a stumble. Hey everyone, Spencer here with SB Mowing, and you wouldn't believe some of the crazy tall grass and hidden stairs and sidewalks that I found on this property. I saw this while I was doing some work in Louisville, Kentucky, and decided to knock on the door to see if I could do it completely free for the homeowner. The lady living there said that would help out so much because the landlord is supposed to have someone cut it, but only send someone once in a blue moon. So I went ahead and got started and spent all day on this lawn. I started first by redefining all the edges on the curbs, the sidewalks, and the stairs. I used my Mariama edger, string trimmer, and blower to do all this. I also thought I'd spruce up the property even more by shaping up the front bushes. This really gives it the nice finished look and even though they haven't been shaped in a while, just trimming off the shagginess really makes it look better. I then got to mowing and this was actually really hard because there was such a slope in the front yard that I had to be really careful with my mower going up and down it trying not to tip it over. There were times I did get close to tipping it over but I was ready to turn off the blades and luckily I have a stand on mower. This makes it a lot easier to maneuver my weight around and make sure I'm staying as stable as possible. Afterwards the neighbor across the street came out and told me all about this property and the landlord who owns it. So be sure to stay till the very end of the video to check out this awesome interaction. Anyways I hope you all have a great rest of your day be sure to hit that subscribe button or weed whack right over it down below if you haven't done so yet as it's really the best thing that you can do to help support this work that i do have a great rest of your week and i'll see you next friday sb mowing out
Hey everyone, Spencer here real quick. I checked out my bank statement the other day and I was shocked to see how many monthly subscriptions I was actually being charged for. And sometimes it's actually kind of hard to stay on top of this stuff with my busy schedule and it takes a long time for some services to cancel them. Well, today's video sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. This personal finance app allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, build a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. I've actually been using Rocket Money for a while now, and it's been really helpful to identify and cancel those unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money safely and securely identifies recurring charges and cancels those unwanted subscriptions for you with just a tap. They make it really easy and you never have to get on your phone. It's also really nice to set my budget and automatically monitor my spending categories. The app will send me notifications when I exceed them and they have some awesome visuals to see my spend to earn ratio by month, quarter, or year. And I did say it's an all-in-one finance platform, right? Because Rocket Money also helps me monitor my credit and alerts me of important changes that impact my score and they offer insights on ways to improve it. And there's so much more to go that you can explore. To save more and spend less, join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash sbmowing or click the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash sbmowing to get started for free. Thank you so much to Rocket Money for supporting my work and let's get back to this cleanup. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, y'all, so we are almost finished up. We did all the edging, all the mowing. We trimmed up these bushes the best that we could. We weeded it everything. The only thing I didn't weed is along the fence right there. There's a bunch of poison ivy there, so I'm not gonna touch that. And then there's a whole bunch of grass clippings from the mower um, up front since it was so tall. 
So I'm gonna rake that up and get that cleaned up real quick since somebody lives here. If this was vacant, I'd usually kind of spread it around for it to just decompose on top of the grass. Um, but when it's this thick and someone lives here, I like to get it cleaned up for them and get it looking good. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna blow everything off and get out of here. We'll see you then. How's it going? All right, what you doing this for? I just, I clean these up for free. For free? Yeah, when I see that they're getting real overgrown, I clean them up for free for the neighborhood and stuff. And you did the you did the bushes too? Yeah, I did the bushes and the edges and got it all cleaned up because it was getting wow. so tall. Y'all should have came here last summer, the beginning of the summer. This grass grows as high as my hips. Really? And these people live in here. The landlord don't come and do it. Wow. Only way the landlord come out here when the neighbors and all of us get together and we fight. Really? And that's where we are They had cut this grass in the last two months. It's been two months since they cut the grass? Two months. Wow. Two months. And that's a good thing y'all came around. I found some real overgrown ones around here. I've been yeah. working in this side town all week. Well, you're in the right neighborhood. A lot of them's elderly. A lot of them just don't want to get out and take care of it. He's a stumbler. He's been over in this house for many years. We need to close you down, shut you down, and let you let you rip from somebody and let, let you live the way you let them live. Scum lords, they don't care. It's just ridiculous. I know the neighbors, when they get off from work today, they're going to say, hallelujah. Thank you, honey. Thank you. I hope it looks better for you, It looks too. a whole lot better because I can, I can fit in my foot and look at that mess. Yep. <laughs> oh, that was a mess. Well, have a good one. You too. Be safe out there.